Jeffrey, do you have anything you want to say to Peyton McCaughey's family? I'm sorry for what happened to him. Our cameras, the only ones there as lawyers for Sunland Pest Control employees, talked about taking a deal. It is a breaking development we alerted you to today on our app. Six months ago today, Peyton McCaughey was rushed to the hospital and diagnosed with poisoning. His family's Palm City home cleared days before by Sunland workers fumigating it. Lawyers for those workers tell us they plan to plead guilty and will serve jail time. News Channel 5's Brian Enton was the only local reporter in federal court today where these plans were discussed. How do you feel about what happened to that little boy? Very sorry. You're very sorry? Yes, sir. Why aren't you showing your face? Canary Curry said he was sorry, hiding from cameras just like his former boss, the owner of Sunland Pest Control, Grinnell Williams. This is the first time we've seen them in federal court this morning, officially pleading not guilty to two federal charges related to the poisoning of 10 year old Peyton McCaughey six months ago. After the hearing, their attorneys told me the two will change their pleas to guilty, that they are working out a plea deal and will serve time in prison. Was it your fault that he was poisoned? Both of the men are out free on $25,000 personal surety bonds. If the plea deal does not work out, they could face hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines and one year in prison. Meanwhile, the Florida Department of Agriculture took away Sunland Pest Control's license. That's the company contracted by Terminix for the fumigation. So at this point, it is unclear exactly which charges those men will plead guilty to and how this entire plea deal will end up working itself out. Meanwhile, I talked to Peyton McCaughey's uncle today. He says none of this makes Peyton feel any better. He continues to suffer from brain damage and undergo intense rehabilitation. You'll hear from his family coming up all new at 6 o'clock. In the feed room, Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5. This story first broke back in September when the state confirmed Peyton was poisoned by pesticides when the family's home was fumigated in August. The family then sued both Sunland Pest Control and Terminex. Next, uh, last month, Sunland was charged with two federal crimes, one for failing to properly use pesticides and the other for lying about which pesticide was used in their home. The companies then sued the McCaughey family, saying they should have known that they were being poisoned. Ten-year-old Peyton is still recovering from brain damage. As we continue to follow developments, we will send you alerts and updates on this story right to your smartphone through our WPTV mobile app.